Hi, and welcome to our tutorial on how to use ChatGPT. ChatGPT, or Generative Pre-Training Transformer, is a powerful tool that allows you to chat with a computer and have it generate responses in real time. It uses artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms to understand and generate human-like responses. Before we dive into how to use ChatGPT, let's quickly go over what it is and how it works. ChatGPT is a variant of the GPT, Generative Pre-Training Transformer model, which was developed by OpenAI. The GPT model is a type of language model that is trained to predict the next word in a sequence of text. It does this by analysing a large data set of text and learning the patterns and relationships between words and phrases. So, how does ChatGPT work? When you type a message into the chat window, ChatGPT analyzes the message and uses its knowledge of language patterns to generate a response. It, is, it does this by predicting the most likely next word or phrase based on the words and context in your message. So now that you have a basic understanding of what ChatGPT is and how it works, let's go over how to use it. To begin, we'll need to go onto Google and search ChatGPT. The top option is a website by openai.com, so make sure we click this option at the top. Now, we see we are, we're now on the openai.com homepage, and on the left-hand side, there's the option to click Try Chat GPT. All we need to do is click this, and when that's us ready. Now, we have the option here to log in or sign up. Um, if you have not signed up, we'll talk you through how that works just now. Of course, if you have your own account, you can click Login to the left. So to sign up, we click the right hand side, of course. And then you just need to type in your email address and fill out your CAPTCHA and then click continue. You can, of course, continue with Google or with a Microsoft account as well. Now just fill in your password and then click continue. You will be sent in a verification email to the email that you entered. So make sure you have access to that. Once you've loaded up, loaded up email, you can click the link and it will verify your account. Now all you need to do is refresh the page that you're originally on, on your desktop for example, and then ask you, then ask to tell us about you. So you can just type in your name here and then click continue. It will now ask you to verify your phone number. So just type in your phone number and then click send code. You will receive a code on your uh, phone and just enter the digits that you received into the code menu um, to uh, on the next page. Now, once you've loaded up, you can click next through these tabs here. And that's us set up. We are now on our Open AI Chat GPT homepage. Now we are on the homepage for Chat GPT, and to begin, there is some settings that we can go through. Uh, first of all, uh, there's dark mode or light mode, just depending on your preference. In the bottom left, there's a Discord, and of course, you can log out if you choose to. In the top left corner, you can um, just click a new chat, or of course, you can type down here to ask chat GPT any questions. Now there is some options here for examples. Um, for example, below it says explain quantum computing in simple terms. Got any creative ideas for a 10 year old's birthday? Or how do I make a HTTP request in JavaScript? There is some limitations, however, with chat uh, GPT, as it says here, it can occasionally generate incorrect information incorrectly produce harmful instructions or biased content and limited knowledge of world and events after 2021. So to begin, let's go for, let's click here. Um, got any creative ideas for a 10 year old's birthday? We can click the um, enter option to the right hand side. Over the next minute, it will uh, generate a, an answer for that question. And just like that, it's created a list of five different things that you can do, um, for example, in this case, for a 10 year old's birthday party. Now, if you wanted to create a new chat, we can just um, click over the top left corner again. It will save um, this current chat that we have already. And now we have the freedom of starting a brand new chat altogether. Now we can use this chat to generate articles for us, um, to post on different websites or for of course on Google to try and rank and allow different users to come across our article uh, and read and allow us to generate some profit. For example, write an interesting article on why are lines so dangerous. 
And just like that, we have um, five uh, great paragraphs to start an article uh, about this topic. Now, if we wanted some more detail, we could ask chat um, to do that and, and add some more information. And just like that, we have five new paragraphs to add into our article about why lions are so dangerous. Easy as that, we can use this to generate an article very quickly, very easily. Um, and use this to create and sell different scripted products. So what are the other potential uses for chat GPT? The possibilities are virtually endless. Here are just a few examples that you can use to create different content with this tool. First of all, there's chatbots. We can use this to create chatbots that can carry on natural human-like conversations with users. This can be very useful for customer services answering frequently asked questions or simply providing entertainment. Another option is language translation. Chat GPT can be used to generate translations of text from one language to another. While machine translation is not perfect, Chat GPT can help improve the accuracy and naturalness of translations by adding the human touch. Social media as well. Chat GPT can be used to generate social media posts captions and even comments. This could be a helpful tool for businesses and individual content creators looking to save some time and stay active on social media platforms, whether it be Instagram, Twitter or even YouTube. And of course, fun and entertainment. Chat GTP can be used simply for the sake of fun and entertainment. You can put in you can input prompts and see what kind of creative responses it generates. So guys, I hope this tutorial has given you a good overview of how to use ChatGTP and some of its capabilities. With a little practice and experimentation, you'll be generating human-like text in no time for whatever use you desire. If you found this video useful and this tutorial engaging and helpful, please make sure that you like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Peace.